Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Paul from Flutter Ferry. Today we'll be integrating Paystack to our Flutter web. And Paystack is an online payment gateway for Africans. So I hope finding this video, you already have an account with Paystack and you want to integrate this to your, your Flutter web. And immediately we'll move into um, the documentation here, which I have already opened here and we see the go to the asset payments now there are some few ways paystack developers has given um us to integrate this very fast to our web and talking about web here um, i think these people didn't have flutter in mind so they actually what they had in mind is javascript and html so we are going to do this on our flutter web that that's what we are going to do and and you can see the um preview here you can see the preview uh we we'll just click on this this is from their sites and this is the pop-up we are getting so we are going to do same for our application as well so you can go through this documentation and so you can you can have more concrete um idea and what we are doing here so on the on what i have created here you can see if you click on pay now you can see that same pop-up comes up here now this is this is very fast and you can use it on your flutter web for both um the mobile view and actually the web and also the web view as well and and this we are going to go to our main dot that so i can start there and show you how this is done so um here in our main dot that we have our run app and as well we have our project title and the masera app that actually takes the my home as the home parameter and um, home and page what you're actually seeing here what you're actually seeing here the home page and now we'll go into the pop spec.html and the pop spec.html we actually in, um added this js um plugin here which is js and this is the version i'm using and in this we can use the javascript some javascript um methods so we can make calls to our javascript and this is more like an interop like interoperability now interoperability is a way to communicate with other languages now in this we will be using that to communicate with um, javascript yeah sending data and for those of you that knows about um method channel um yeah it's the same thing it's almost the same thing here so uh integrating this uh in my service here i have some few folders here like the constant page and services now in the services here we have paystack interrupt dot that now in here we are importing the js plugin here which is um, package the js and we are marking this particular method as a j um, javascript method and why we are doing that because is because we have a method on our web folder here that has the same name and this method is making call to the paste stack pop dot setup now calling this method is going to open that frame this pop up is going to make this and make this call so in in here as well we have the paste stack interval which is this file and in our index.html we have called that particular file here so here we have called that file and as well we call this at the top the https js.pastack.co and this is going to give us all the functions we need for our paystack to work and the developers have built that already so what we need we just need to tap into that and call whatever method we want to call so in our case we are calling the paystack pop.setup and we are passing our key and we are passing our email we are passing the amount we want to charge our customer our user and also passing the unclose callback we are also passing the on success which is the callback here as well so we as well pass in these parameters and which we are actually passing on our that um, side and let's go there um we can go there now which is the paste stack interrupt yeah so we have marked this and we have passed in some few parameters here like the um, public key 
um, the email, the amount, the ref, the callback, on close the callback on success, which is the callback. We just give it here. And we have in the services here, we still have a, a class, a file called paystack integration. So we are making import to the JS and um, that JS, and also we are calling our key. So the key is on the constant here. I'm not going to open that. You should um, get the key um, from your paystack. You should create an account and get that key. And what else you're doing? We are making call to the paystack interrupt um, here. And actually, we are um, creating a class here called paystack pop-up. And as well, we are creating a static method here called open paystack pop-up. And we are passing all the re required parameters. And here we are using the js.context.call method to call the paystack, paystack pop-up. So this is going to go in our JavaScript and call this exact function. And here we are passing the public key, email, and everything. So one of the things here um, is the unclose and unsuccess. Now, you need to wrap the callback around the allow interrupt for this to work. So this is going to allow callback um, for this callback we are trying to specify here. And in our home, and um, here we have this as a stateful widget and stateful widget in the sense that this actually has some state in it so if you should type and you can see that things are updating here means that it has a state in it and we have the two text um controller here and this is the email am amount and here we are in the init state we have the amounts add listener controller admin listener and we are setting state so whenever this is um called we set state and rebuild the ui so you can see what is here now and we have a method here that returns string that generates a um, random code and we can use that as our reference because we need our reference to be unique on every on every payment so the next thing here we are going to look at is the ui and which we have the scaffold, the center widgets, the container. So we have this center, have this container centered here, and have all of this in the column and the text field. We have it. We have the text. We have the text field here. We have the button. So and on our button here, we have the um, on press. So this is the on press. When we click on this button, this is this get code. And here we have defined the ref calling the generate ref and on this amount we actually paste that to an int we convert the text to an int so we can actually use that and we are passing that to the paste pop-up dot open paste pop-up in the integrations here and here we pass the amount as well we multiply that by 100 so we can get the exact amount on the paste side and as well we passing the unique ref and we have the callback the on close and on success so let's test this out and see uh we'll click on the pay and we have the pay here we i'll use another card and the card i'm going to use is a test card 408 408 408 408 so 081 and i'm going to add a an expiring date here um this is going to be 408 and i'm going to pay um, i can see this is successful and you can see the callback here successful payment and we should click this again and cancel this and you can see that couldn't finish payment so um that is it and with with this with this you can yeah integrate paste to your flutter web